What is up, YouTube? We're filming with our phone because we are Kelly's in the house. Kelly, I am convinced Kelly to come thrifting with me. It's a new year. See, she is coming. We're gonna, we're gonna fucking find some good shit. So let's do this. We're gonna, let's do this. Let's do it now. Come ride with me, let's thrift, let's thrift all day. When you go down to Upshop Town, don't have a dog shit day. So ride with me, let's thrift, let's thrift away. We're just driving up to where. No, not. We don't turn here. We go straight. Yeah. <laughs> Park Street driver. <laughs> uh, back seat. What did I say? Back street. We're back again. Alright, so we're going to, on the way home from in some important business, we're dropping into a couple of uh, thrift stores, just two, uh, maybe four? No. Three? Three. Three. Okay, and meet you in the middle. Meet me in the middle. So two and a half. Um, and then just a couple, we'll make these ones quick, see what we can get. And then tomorrow morning on this same video, right. we'll turn right here. On the same video tomorrow morning, I am getting up at 5 a.m. in the morning with my dedication, with my fucking <laughs> dedication for you, for you watching. Are you getting up at 5 a.m. and coming to the markets? Oh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> so tomorrow on this same video I'll be solo on the markets video but let's do the first thrift shop let's see what we can find let's see what we can find see if I can uh, just had uh, the Zohan fucking uh, do my beard for me new year and uh, the Zohan gave me a uh, bit of a trim a bit of a trim looks good it does it does <laughs> fucking starting to rush and then starting to rush up all right let's do it Kelly's already run off inside. This one is called Rags to Riches. Rags to Riches. It's usually a little bit dog shit, but let's give it a go because she's only letting me go to two or three, so let's have a look. All right, here we are at Rags to Riches. This place was an absolute unorganized mess, and I can tell why. She is running the show. She has no time. She has no time to fucking put things in place. But that's all right. She wants to make an extra couple of bucks. This is her own self-made op shop, Rads to Riches. So uh, let's have a look around. Barley DVDs. I do not appreciate when op shops sell barley DVDs. Not a fan of that at all. Should be illegal, really. DVDs she wanted three bucks a piece for a bit dog shit. Look at that clock. She wanted a fair bit for that clock as well. A lot of all this junk she had here in this store was just so, so overpriced. It was ridiculous. I don't even know where she gets her prices from. Uh, I think she just makes it up. There's some trophies. I should have got myself a few trophies. Uh, I've only got one or two trophies from when I was a kid. And I think they're participation awards. So I do need some trophies. Um, there's a dirty stained mattress. I wonder what's happened on that mattress to make it so stained. It looks filthy. But uh, maybe they didn't have any sheets on it and they had dirty feet. Shower curtain, if you want a shower curtain. There was all types of things in this uh, Rags to Riches place. But it was shit. It was dog shit. Look how small this little freaking corridor was for me to walk through. With all this crap, like little bits of crap on the uh, shelves. The books were overpriced. Three bucks a piece. Fuck that. Not paying three bucks a piece when they were all crap. There's a wedding dress. Maybe we can get that wedding dress uh, for Kelly. Now nah, she's already got one. Uh, that little drum set. So unorganized this place. Books, they were just everywhere. Hard to kind of look through really, to be honest. Uh, the kids section of the kids books and the kids games. Look at it, all just piled on top of each other and it was shit missing everywhere. Fuck that. Wasn't going through that. No, oh, look again. We got fucking Twilight Galore. Lower your prices and someone might actually fucking buy some Twilights. 
from all your op shops everywhere. Lower your price. Do Twilight at fucking 10 cents. The women's clothes galore in here at okay prices for five dollars the shoes were beat to shit the shoes were pretty crappy but um i had to get the hell out of rags to riches because um it's it was not making me rich this place that last one was dog shit i've got one thing i'll show you in show and tell that was dog shit we're gonna do the salvos we've got the salvos here Quickly go to the salvos. We'll have a quick look in this one. Hopefully, this is not overpriced and dog shit. And then we'll continue tomorrow at the markets. All right. All right. Band aids. The first thing that you can see when you walk in the door. Band aids for sale. Now, this guy. This guy's a prick. He's the type of person I don't like when I see at the op shops. Now, you sell the bags of toys that they've already bagged up for you to buy for five dollars or whatever. Yeah, you dropped it. Dropped it. Kiss my foot. He uh. Ripped open the bag and was going through and choosing what toys he wanted and putting him into another bag. Disrespectful prick. Fucking asshole. Really asshole. Look how unorganized this. This is a salvos for fuck's sake. DVDs all over the place. They wanted three bucks a piece for DVDs here as well. Fuck me. Are they rich in this area or something? It's unbelievable. I did not buy any DVDs from these fuckers. Uh, I look for the records. The records were no good as well. I look for the clothes. The clothes were no good. The cassette tapes were all Barry Melano, Melano, whatever the hell his name is, and uh, all these opera singers and all that type of crap. Games, once again, FIFA, 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 one NHL there. Absolute dog shit. They can kiss my ass this place. I'm never coming back here again. Never coming back here again. It's like the same shit every time. So that was dog shit. Absolute shit. Dog shit. Kelly fucking sat in the car because it was that shit. She was bored of that place. How fucking high the prices were. I was playing Sim City. She was playing Sim City. She'd rather play Sim City than fucking thrift. We did two thrift stores. They were shit. This will be continued tomorrow morning on the same video. Going to the pub. Do have a fucking rash there from the fucking razor. Um, it was shit. We got one item from two thrift stores. The fucking prices were fucking insane. So where are we going now? The pub. All right, so we're going to the pub because um, Kelly would rather go to the pub than thrift. She won't be on the video for the rest of it because she's not going to get up, let's face it, five o'clock <laughs> in the morning to go to the markets, Sunday morning. So the video will continue right and we're back in the car. Sunday morning, it's 6 a.m. now. I got up at 5.30, had a shower, fuck. Hay fever is killing me today. What is up with this weather? It's like fucking hot, then fucking breezy and cool. Global warming, man. The Sunday mornings, I'm usually watching uh, two Aussie fripters uh, when they post up their new video. So I'll be watching that as soon as I get home. If you haven't subscribed to the two Aussie Thrifters, definitely uh, check them out and uh, watch them. I'm pretty sure everyone that's subscribed to me is subscribed to them, but just in case, just in case. All right, so this little piggy's going to the fucking market and we're gonna go try and find some fucking sweet ass bargains. I've got a whole heap of fucking uh, money out. Kelly didn't join us because it is too early and she said, fuck off. She wanted to keep sleeping in, understand, because I wanted to keep sleeping in, but when there's a bargain to be brought, I can't just lay in bed. We gotta get some money. I want some money. I wanna make it the money. Don't complain about having no money if you're not willing to get out of bed and get off your ass and go do this type of shit. Sit there whinging, saying I can't afford this, I can't afford that. Fucking get out of bed and go fucking thrift and market and sell shit, come on. Pull your finger out, God damn it! Everyone can do it. Anyone can do it. Anyone can do this. Now that I think about it, I hope the fucking markets are on, because this is a fucking 45 minute, one hour drive. Better be fucking on. So I should get there about 6.30, 6.30 a.m. All right, that's enough for me fucking uh, waffling on. If you haven't subscribed already, subscribe. Check that bell icon on. We're heading to the markets now. Let's go see what cool shit we get. 
the idea of why I want to do this first markets after Christmas because I do know that it has been closed for the last couple of weeks I'm pretty sure it is the first weekend of January which is today uh, that it's reopening so we're, we're just hoping now uh, but everyone should be getting rid of all their Christmas presents that they didn't want from the families that they didn't fucking like a lot cheaper than op shops op shops are a fucking rip off 2020 we're not going to take it op shops we're not going to take it man let's go I'm waffling on too much I always waffle on too much I talk too much don't I, I fucking talk too much let's do it let's do this All right, this little piggy's going to the markets, and I love the markets. The Melville markets are absolutely awesome. If you're a female and you like buying clothes to resell, go to the Melville markets. Buck, a buck, two bucks. Fucking good brands, but I know nothing about the women's clothes. Look at that, ass face soap. Ass face soap. I didn't buy it, fucking, but I thought it was funny. Keyboard there. I don't want to buy too big a shit like that. But uh, pretty cool. I like walking around just looking at crap. This lady wanted fucking high price for all her shoes. Fuck off. Fucking the markets. Markets we come to get cheap shit. Don't sell at the markets if you want high price stuff. Come on, man. Seriously. Uh, he brought a toaster or a Weber or something, this bloke. But um, she was selling proper shoes. There's a pepper the pig. I didn't bother with that. She wanted a few bucks for it, but uh, a little bit too high price for me. I like to find the bargains and sell high. Buy low, sell high. And then undercut people. This keyboard, I forgot to go back and bloody grab it. I was going to message Game On Couple to see if this keyboard was any good. I didn't even get a good fucking shot of it, so who's the dick? Me. Alright, so let's move on. Absolute great. That junkie there walking in front of me. He's walking around, not supposed to smoke in the fucking markets, but he did not give a shit. I think he had crystal meth in his cigarette. He's a baby stuff. If you're after baby stuff, not to resell, just to uh, get for yourself there. The heaps of uh, good stuff at the markets here. Uh, this person had heaps of toys. I do remember I grabbed a fair bit of toys from uh, this mob last time. But there was no good shit there this time, and... Um, a little bit overpriced, a little bit overpriced, but I was a bit spewing, I couldn't find anything. But uh, within within these guys, uh, a little bit too much they wanted. I don't sell, resell baby toys, you should never resell baby toys. Uh, a child, an infant should not uh, be playing with something that someone else uh, may have had diseases with. That's my little uh, motto and theory anyway. Don't want to get anyone's child sick, but toys... Fuck yeah, for collectors, no worries at all. Pops are way overpriced here, so I had to move on from these uh, idiots. Way too much for his pops. I did have a look through this uh, red case, though. Uh, nothing good in there this time. That's where I found all those Snoopies and Mr. Men's and stuff like that. So people at these markets, they like to sell books and all that shit, and you can find them for a buck a piece and 50 cents a piece. These guys are having a good old conversation. Found it quite funny listening to them uh, talking. Uh, uh, they're talking. They're talking like this, uh, but your table was shit. Ernie, Ernest, Ernest stuff. Uh, surprisingly enough, people like and buy, and it's worth good money. So I did grab that for a buck. You'll see that at Show and Tell. You'll see everything that I pick up at Show and Tell. Uh, you don't see everything that I uh, pick up while I'm uh, walking around doing this commentary. This is mainly just so you can see uh, all the shit. There's another fucking Twilight book. Uh, this is uh, so you can just... Uh, she's getting some butt pearls there. So you can just see what the markets are like in Australia. CDs $2, DVDs $1, and all of them were barley ones. Shame on you, buddy. Shame on you, yes. You sitting at the car there, shame on you. But that's all right. I had a look for your Elvis. Uh, look how big that fucking dog is. It's a monster dog. I'm taking their dog to the markets with them. That's all right. 
a lot of people do take their dog to the markets with them. Well, this cunt fucking reversing out at the same time as me. And you know what, buddy? I was reversing out first, so you can go suck a dick. Well, at first I was a bit, um... Is there gonna be fucking anything? Don't tell me it's gonna be a dog shit day like fucking uh, the start of the video was for yesterday's op shops. But it ended up being sweet. I turned the camera off so I could fucking dig. I started digging in the uh, all the junk that people had. If you're a reseller of, yeah, good job. Cut the fucking road. Half the fucking asshole just tried to cut the corner and almost clipped the front of my car. Stupid fucking prick. So, anyways, um, if you're a reseller of uh, baby clothes, fucking. Uh, women's clothes, there was hardly any men, there's basically no men's clothes here at all. I know nothing about women's clothes. Melville Markets, Melville Markets is the place you want to be. Women are selling shit for a dollar, two dollars and all that and they all look fucking like good quality stuff. Ah. They all look like good quality stuff but I'm not going to stand there and not at the markets and look shit up so I took a Took a few wings on uh, things, a few guesses, so we'll find out and show and tell. Uh, pretty happy with a few of the few of the things. This one kid was just selling all these box set DVDs for a dollar, so I went nuts and grabbed a shitload of Simpsons, and they're going to go packaging in with all the other Simpsons stuff that I've got. So I've been trying to get box sets of uh, TV series cheap to lot up. Got some more right stuff. I think I did all right. Um, what I got at the end uh, I think was awesome. Anyway, there's one more on the way home which I always go to. It's usually pretty shit and I usually come out empty handed from that one. Uh, or maybe get one or two things. But I filled my fucking Peel Thunder bag. My lucky Peel Thunder bag. Two time fucking two time premiership champions. Peel Thunder. So I've filled up the uh, lucky bag. Bill. Full. A lot of DVDs. A lot of DVDs don't really need DVDs with what I've got to list still but it's good to grab box sets to uh, lot up because these TV series are good so now let's go check out this uh, other markets there's other markets and um, <coughs> then we'll go that was pretty good though that was good that was good going through junk totally different a lot of junk as well compared to last time I went so happy with that all right, this is the Cadinia, Cadinia markets, bruh. So these markets are usually pretty okay. I always make these markets the second markets I go to on the way home from the Melville ones because it doesn't matter about these ones uh, too much. But I always do find a few couple of things, bits and pieces, and which I did, I did. Absolutely, a lot of people. Uh, no, I do not want to find Jesus. Thank you for showing me those pamphlets. Uh, these people, just, their asking price was just ridiculous. They had some wrestling figures here for $100 and all that. Uh, these NFL, 1991 NFL starting lineup, uh, figures were pretty sweet, but she wanted 15 bucks a piece for them. I looked it up. They go for $30. They've been selling for 30 bucks. Oh, nice fucking filming there, Rob. Uh, at least you saw my awesome thongs I was wearing this morning. A lot of toys. Now, a lot of people um, sell uh, plants. Me and Kelly did our whole front uh, garden up from these actual markets. We brought uh, plants for five dollars each. That uh, a lot of people, as a Japan or China in a glass bottle. But yeah, a lot of people sell plants. We done our whole front garden up. Look at this here. All these dirty magazines. A lot of swimsuits and all that type of stuff and. Uh, pretty FHM and whatever they all called and he said 50 cents the 50 cents you should be ashamed you're showing everyone that you're fucking you jerked off with them and now you want to flog them off to us for 50 cents thanks a lot thanks mate these platypus things I fucking see them in the freaking op shop all the time this fucker wanted five bucks each for them look at this he brought his whole fucking truck he brought his whole truck and he had nothing not many uh, videos. Those videos were shit. And some, look at this guy uh, wearing his little Batman shirt. And his fanny pack. 
He was selling some crap. But I'm out of here. I'm done. This is fucked. I got what I wanted. You'll see it in show and tell. That's all she wrote. That is all she fucking wrote. Uh, I got a fair bit of shit. Uh, I don't even know how much I spent. I think I spent about 50, 60 bucks all together. Got a bit of stuff. I think I can make some good money. Uh, we'll see. Show and tell Thursday. Don't forget to watch show and tell on Thursday. Don't forget to just subscribe and like. Do that little bell icon. Uh, thumbs up. Or, you know what, you can do whatever the fuck you want because you just do what you want. It's up to you. It's up to you. If you like it and you want to keep watching it, and you want to get notified, you do that stuff. If you don't like it, you give me a thumbs down, you do what the fuck you want. I don't fucking care. You fucking do it. Don't forget to subscribe to the Australian community. The Australian community on YouTube, all us other thrifters, all the thrifters. Got some good content out there, so check out all their channels. And um, like I said, don't miss Thursday. You're gonna see what I got because I picked up some all right stuff. Some stuff I don't usually pick up, but some good stuff. And before I go, as for the uh, 19 questions that uh, people are tagging me in, um, I'm still thinking about it. I'm a bit busy at the moment. I'm still thinking about it, so maybe I'll do it. Maybe I'll do it. A few people stitching me up. Stitching me up. Because they know I don't want to do it. So I am going to get Macca's breakfast now because after a good Sunday morning, Sunday morning thrift, you've got to have a nice, beautiful, beautiful double sausage and egg McMuffin meal. Oh, get it in me. And the fucking drive-thru was busy. Fuck's sake. It's hot now as well. Anyway, I'm waffling again, and you don't like it when I waffle. Well, some people like it when I waffle. Some people hate it when I waffle. We'll see you next time. I'm getting me Maccas. I'm going for this one. This one's going to get faster. I'll see you later. See you. Come ride with me. Let's thrift, let's thrift all day. When you go down to Upshop Town.